Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Our next guests work in schools, so they know firsthand the issues many kids struggle with, from mental health problems and school violence to bullying and addiction. Tomorrow they're bringing in a special guest to talk to students. It's a guy who's worked in prisons, corporations, and with Major League Baseball players and the NFL. Holly Aleshko is a school counselor at Hartford Union High School, and Tara Villalobos is a school administrator for the Richfield Joint One District. Thanks for being here, ladies. Thanks for having Great us. Great to see you. Yeah, so you're bringing in this big shot, and, and he's really going to talk about a lot of the issues that kids and teens are facing. What do you guys see as, as the major problems that teens are dealing with day to day? Sure, I think that um, kids today face a lot more than we ever did as students. And so as administrators, we've surveyed our parents, we've talked to our school counselors mm -hmm. to see what the issues are. We look at the behaviors our kids are having. It's really, they're dealing with a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. There's a lot of technology available that we didn't have. So those are all issues. Um, and then just self-esteem. Um, mm -hmm. It is very difficult for kids to grow up in today's society. Well, yeah. I think it's great for you guys to join us after the guest we just mm -hmm. had on. Exactly. I, I was right. thinking as you, as you joined yeah. us that it was probably interesting to you mm -hmm. to hear about her research because it's things that you live every day about right. sort of the state of today's child child and the, the self-control and all those things and social media is such mm -hmm. a unbelievably uh, unbelievable force I think as it relates to behavior and school performance and all those other things um, let's talk about pin um, it's parent information network is that something that's exclusive to your school district or your schools it is and so it is parent information network but we also think of it as a parent involvement network um, because we truly are trying to get our families and community engaged and it is exclusive to the Hartford area schools, so it's a group of six school districts, and it originated uh, actually by one of the superintendents in those school districts, Dr. Keith Crewald came, and he uh, had the idea of bringing someone or a group closer to our community, because we're not the first, we're not the original, um, but we want to impact our community, and so it was really important for us to have PIN in the Hartford area. That's neat. What mm -hmm. kind of events, because you guys do events through PIN, have you had? Yeah, we've actually had several this year and last mm -hmm. year. This year we had one on anxiety. We also had one on, uh, it was a movie screenagers because of the technology issue that I mm. talked about and growing up not only with technology but as parents of students with technology. And then we have the one coming up that Holly will talk about uh, with Mike McGowan. Yeah, I'm excited for you to talk about, I've done some reading about him. I bet you're excited for people to hear his message. We are excited to hear his message. His message has a lot to do with a formula of success that is about attitude, choices, and effort. These are all things that he feels people of all ages have definite control over and therefore when he comes and he talks mm -hmm. with us it'll be something applicable to everyone whether you're a mother or a grandparent or an aunt or, or a friend and mm -hmm. so we really are striving to appeal to people of all ages interacting with kids of all ages. Well you mentioned attitude being one of the things. As school counselors what kind of attitude are you seeing in the hallways towards other students or towards school in general? Mm -hmm. I feel that with teenagers. I love teenagers. Mm -hmm. I do too. I do. I do. I do. They, yeah. I do. And so I think in the grand scheme of things, they are still incredibly mm -hmm. awesome individuals. And like we talked about a few minutes ago, there's just so much going on with them. Mm -hmm. But in the end, they will still always do what is right and yeah. they'll make the good choices because they have the the tools to do that mm -hmm. and the mindfulness to be kind and respectful. So I, I think I love teenagers. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love the things, the topics that he's going to address mm -hmm. as part of the presentation mm -hmm. that you're having. So things like what skills kids need to be successful and kind, mm -hmm. which sometimes those two things seem like they wouldn't go together in order to be real successful. You can't be kind, but I think I think that's great that those go together. Making good decisions in in, in the face of social and peer pressure, bullying, cyber bullying, which I think has become all too common, um, making positive choices, like you said, and developing skills about conflict resolution. Mm -hmm. And I think so often we're, as parents, just so likely to jump in and try to make things right. And parents calling other parents and trying to work things out when we got to leave it to our kids to work it out. Because that's how it was when we were growing up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Right. Well, I think that social media is where it gets really difficult with teenagers today mm -hmm. because it's 24-7. Right. 
You know, back when we were younger, it was, okay, school ended, you it was home. you went home and then went back to school the next day. But now it's extremely difficult. And I think that's where some of the biggest issues are. It's yeah. extreme connection mm -hmm. to right. so many people when they're at all home. All the time. Nonstop. Yeah. And all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is wonderful, you guys. Thank you so much, both of you, mm -hmm. for being here. So Michael McGowan is going to be um, on Wednesday, this Wednesday, so tomorrow, April 25th at 6.30. Do I have that right? Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, Hartford mm -hmm. Union High School. Now, is this something that's open just to, um, to parents, no. to people in your community? It's open to anyone. You right. do not have to reside in the Hartford area community in order to attend this event and it's free so anyone right. can come. We That's want so nice of come. you. That's yeah, really cool. Right. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that yeah. today. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.